Belize is no longer Mother Nature's best kept secret, and this has been reflected with the increase in arrivals with record breaking numbers in 2016. The increased efforts of the Belize Tourism Board has created and amplified the awareness of the destination. More and more people are discovering the jewel and interested in visiting our small slice of paradise. A Curious Place campaign was launched in 2016 as an initiative that takes potential travelers on a journey through Belize to discover what unique components makes us the ultimate destination for curious travelers. This digital marketing campaign takes the everyday experiences of living in Belize and incorporates creativity into a short yet informative video format. The launch of this campaign continues to prove successful with over 2 million in audience reach. The Toronto activation for the launch of the new carrier WestJet to Belize was another interactive campaign. At the end of the campaign, one lucky drummer was the winner of a trip to Belize courtesy of WestJet. I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm so excited. The invitation and the arrival of Simone Bowles was a huge success for Belize. Simone's prompt and warm response to visit Belize afforded us major digital media coverage. Simone's visit has generated tons of engagements and reached her 300,000 plus followers. With 41,031 impressions on our Belize Tourism Board Twitter account, the news has also generated 132 media placements, 1.4 billion media impressions, and 71 million social media impressions. Recognizing the pertinent benefits of social media as a very valuable tool for destination marketing, the BTB invited several social influencers and individual press from the North American, Brazilian and UK markets to create buzz about Belize with publications and posts from all over Belize. 2016 was an effective year for the travel trade team as they promoted the Belize brand globally. Belize's presence at the trade and road shows in Argentina, USA, Canada, UK, France, Mexico and Spain facilitated informing potential visitors and wholesalers about Belize as well as creating many leads for our industry partners. BTB firmly believes in enhancing our stakeholder knowledge, engaging with them and recognizing their valuable contribution. Initiatives such as Tourism Industry Conference, Digital Marketing Summit, National Tourism Awards, Destination Visits, Local Roadshow, industry visits helped in achieving this to inform the younger generation on tourism and to consider our growing industry as a potential career a series of school visits to various primary and secondary schools were conducted the year 2016 culminated with another significant achievement for the tourism industry boasting the highest overnight arrivals in 20 years with an overall increase of 13 percent when compared to 2015 this means 44,422 additional overnight tourists visited the beauty of the jewel. There was an increase in every month when comparing 2015 to 2016, with the exception of November, which saw a slight decrease of 1.3%. Most notable was January and September. Their increases were 24% and 26.9% respectively. With the addition of the new connection Toronto to Belize, as well as the expanded route of Southwest Airlines with Denver to Belize, excitement is in the air that there is more to come. This increase has led to a demand for increase in services and accommodations with a growth in registered hotels from 850 in 2015 to 861 in 2016. This reflects 593 more rooms available for visitors. The Belizean workforce has also benefited from tourism. In 2016, the number of individuals employed in tourism were 19,396, reflecting an increase of 1,013 from 2015, and once again showcasing the industry is an important income generator for our citizens and economy. Tour operators and tour guides grew by 20.6% and 32% respectively from 2015. Overnight arrivals were not the only contributor to the increase. Cruise tourism played a major role as well. In 2016, the cruise tourism industry increased by 4.9% over 2015. The months with the highest peaks were May and October with 41.3% and 38.3% respectively. 
Last year actually marked a record-breaking number where we exceeded 1 million passengers. The peak months were May and October with 41.3 and 38.3% increase respectively. We also attribute this increase to the new arrival calls from the Norwegian Getaway, the Norwegian Escape, Carnival Vista, MSC Harmonia, Main Shift 4, and we also had the launch of the Harvest Key port in the south that also brought a new number of arrivals. In addition to this, BTB has also engaged in a series of marketing initiatives such as attending cruise trade shows, meeting with one-on-one -on -one with the cruise line executives, and engaging in a full campaign marketing with content that promotes the attractions and activities to do in Belize. This would not be possible without the support of the stakeholders that are continuously providing a unique guest experience. As an effort to improve the ranking of Belize as a destination amongst our cruise competitors, BTB engaged in the following trainings for our tour guides. Aquila Training in partnership with the Norwegian Cruise Line and the Aquila Center for Cruise Excellence, a cruise guide specialization training was conducted in October 2016. 51 tour guides from the Stan Creek District were trained for the Tour Guide Excellence International Certification. Taxi Pride Training In addition, Caribbean Tourism Organization provided a 3-day training to 28 taxi drivers with tour guide licenses which provided an opportunity for them to enhance their skills knowledge and added value to their service. It emphasized on providing high quality of service, delivery in the transportation sector and by extension their individual impact on the tourism industry. We would also like to acknowledge the yearly community outreach partnership through the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, whereby they allow Belizeans to participate in cruise initiatives such as the FCCA Poster Competition, the FCCA Essay Competition, which Belize won over all Caribbean destinations, and the FCCA Christmas Party, where both NCL and FSTV joined to make a Christmas to remember for Belizean kids. BTB continued its efforts in product development throughout 2016. Enhancement Projects East Indian Cultural Museum through the BTB Cultural Grant Program, the Destination Planning Department assisted Ms. Lucita Tillett of Punta Gorda in the rebuilding of the East Indian Cultural Museum that was destroyed as a result of a freak storm. The museum was expanded to accommodate larger tours and a staging area that allows guests to taste and experience more of the culture through storytelling, music and food was built. Maritime Safety BTB partnered with several agencies to ensure that visitors' safety is maintained. In collaboration with the Belize Port Authority and the Fort Street Tourism Village, six navigational aids in the Belize City Harbor have been repainted. These serve as a critical function for fishing vessels, water taxis, and tenders navigating this waterway. Secondly, Mooring buoys were provided to the Coastal Zone Management Authority CZMA and the Belize Fisheries Department to help alleviate congestion at Gulf Ski and Mexico Rocks, both popular snorkeling and beach break areas which received 5 and 13 buoys respectively. With increasing demand for quality products and services, the BTB has ensured that standards are being met as well as providing capacity building. In regards to the the minimum standards for tour operators offering zip lining, rappelling and canopy tours in the past year. The Belize Tourism Board has been very uh, instrumental in working alongside the Belize Bureau of Standards. There is a specific um, high activity technical committee that is on the ground that's comprised of both private sector and public sector representatives. In the past year, the BTB undertook a diagnostic exercise for two operators countrywide and in that process we actually visited and audited 334 tour operations that are within the license structure um, of the BTB. The intent of that process was to ensure that those two operators basically are meeting and adhering to all the license conditions that they're required to meet 
to ensure guest safety security, that they're putting in place the necessary measures to ensure their tour activities are properly executed on the ground. The BTB in the past year has been delivering tour guide courses countrywide. We have done courses most recently in Belize City, in Dungriga, in San Ignacio, in Placencia, in Key Cocker. There is a growing demand for tour guides to be trained or for people to go through the tour guide program with the intent of getting their licenses um, once that process is completed. In the last year, through 2016 into 2017, we have actually had 415 guides go through that program. The objective of that program at the end of the day ultimately is to ensure that, again, we are meeting a growing demand. In the last year, we awarded five scholarships in that uh, award and that process provided deserving students who are partaking in tourism programs at a number of institutions countrywide. So we've offered in a particular instance the Jean Shaw Scholarship Award which is a, a full scholarship in terms of its cover for um, all the applicable uh, expenses that are associated with um, an institution and then we had other scholarships that are awarded at the associates and bachelors level and additionally we have a culinary scholarship that is a partial scholarship awarded to somebody pursuing studies in that field. A train the trainer workshop for the tour guide course specialization on Dangriga as a destination and tour site was carried out in Dangriga from January 24th to 28th 2017. Nine trainers participated and are now equipped with knowledge and tools to adequately train tour guides that will be specializing in Dangriga. The workshop was facilitated by Gwen Gonzalez, cultural trainer, and Ifesina Ifunemi, historical trainer. In the last year, the BTB executed a series of contingency planning and adaptation resiliency building workshops. Those are very targeted sessions where we worked with establishments in Punta Gorda, in Placencia, in Kikokar, in San Ignacio to help them to better understand and appreciate, again, contingency planning, which in terms of the terminology we're speaking to looking at being able to provide mitigation options for disasters and to ensure that those properties are actually undertaking and looking at measures that help to make their property more secure, more safe, not only for the employees, but for guests and visitors. The QRP process has changed. QRP cards are no longer being printed by the BTB. The cards are now being printed by the Immigration Department. The cards will now be machine-readable cards, with one of the benefits being the card will have the same biometric data as the passports. BTB continues to process applications and application payments to be made at the BTB. Cards are to be picked up at the BTB only. With collaboration from the Caribbean Public Health Agency CARFA, the Ministry of Tourism and the Ministry of Health, the Belize Tourism Board officially launched the Tourism and Health Program THP on October 21, 2016. Over the past year, we lost not just two colleagues but close friends, Mr. Noel Escalante and Mr. Oscar Puga who were dedicated servants of the tourism industry and always worked diligently to improve the industry. We would like to pay tribute to them for their exceptional service over the years and the lasting memories they left us. All this hard work has not gone unnoticed. Belize has received some awards to recognize its growth in tourism. World Travel Awards For the second year in a row, Hamburgers Key has been named Mexico and Central America's leading destination at the 2016 World Travel Awards. TripAdvisor Awards In early 2017, Hamburgers Key, along with several Belizean accommodations, have won awards in seven of nine top categories in the TripAdvisor's 2017 awards list, both in World and Central American categories. Hamburgers Key ranked second in the top 25 destinations for Central America and 17th in the top 25 world destinations category. San Ignacio, Cayo District also ranked sixth on the top 25 destinations for Central America. In 2016, Belize was nominated in the latest 10 Best Readers' Choice Award contest. An expert panel of diving and Caribbean travel experts selected Belize's Blue Hole as a contender for Best Caribbean Dive Site. 
And even more exciting news for Belize for the commencement of 2017 is that we have been featured in New York Times annual list of 52 places to go in 2017. This is one of the most widely shared travel stories each year and a source where many travelers research for their trip inspiration. Placenza was chosen as number 42 by the writer alluding to the destination as a laid-back atmosphere while offering close proximity to the Belize Barrier Reef for exploration. For all the accolades received, it is important to recognize that this would not have been possible without the help of our industry partners. Organizational relationships are very important and the BHA and BTIA are key members in the tourism web. We continue to grow uh, and to increase our partnership and collaboration and I must say that 2016-2017 has been good. We still appreciate the support for the institutional strengthening and the support that we receive for our festivals and expos. At the beginning of 2016, we were really concerned with regards to the commitment that we had made to the stakeholders with the development of the new Destination Belize magazine. Uh, we must say that the BTV support and collaboration in that initiative proved to be very, um, very beneficial. We were able to, to provide a very successful magazine, well-rounded in terms of the articles that it presents, well-rounded in terms of the marketing platforms that it offers to, to our members, and of course, that it offers to Belize as a great tourist destination. We've um, had an excellent relationship with BTB, as you know, um, it is a common goal for the Belize Hotel Association and as well for BTB to try to achieve the maximum occupancy for the country of Belize. So we've had a tremendous uh, relationship with BTB in terms of um, funding. They've been funding us for international trade shows. Um, we represent Belize members, the Hotel Association members, in within 22 trade shows internationally. And that is mostly funded by BTB. As we glimpse into the future, tourism is our fastest growing industry creating jobs and development. We envision that with continued efforts and collaboration with our industry partners, continuous development can be achieved as we collectively promote our jewel beliefs.